In the early 19th century, fantasy genre was introduced to the literature world by George MacDonald, who wrote one of the earliest fantasy novels, Fantastus, a fairy romance for men and women in 1858. Through his influence, the fantasy genre began to expand its influence in the human culture. Fantasy literature is far more than just fights between dwarves and magicians or adventure around a mystical world. It is also about expressing the uncertainties of the mind of an author to the world for their thoughts to be heard. In this video, we will be looking into several work of great authors of the genre and see how they represent their own view regarding the uncertainties of the world. Here is how fantasy literature addresses the topic of religion. And the most crucial matter is the existence of God. For instance, in the Chronicle of Narnia, published in 1950, the author C.S. Lewis who is also a devoted Christian himself, delivered clearly the teaching of his religion. In his first novel, Chronicle of Narnia, which is The Lion, the Witch, and the World, Louis depicts the divine power most similarly the deities of Catholic Christianity. Aslan, the Witch, and the arrival of our human protagonists are personification of God, Satan, and the journey of the man. However, the divinity of God and that is are channeled when humans are portrayed to have more power upon their destiny. In the story, the main protagonists were able to restore the world and claim back the peaceful life they once owned, showing that it is only until the human life that change can happen. There are also fantasy novels that portray the issues on trusting the government that are usually portrayed as corrupted in many ways and only seem good as a form of salvation for the community. From anarchy, monarchy, to dictatorship of the 21st century, society always have mistrust on the authorities and their unlimited power upon them. Through the Hunger Games trilogy, written by Suzanne Collins, the capital, led by President Snow, is the imagery of how unfair the government is. The people of Panama are oppressed and threatened to bow to their superiors cruelly by participating in the Hunger Games. Famous series like Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling and 1984 by George Orwell echo the same issues which make people question and relate to how government truly ruled the nation. Fantasy novels are often made as a form of storytelling between good or bad. The more we read, we can see that it is actually a reflection of society shift from the past where morality was anchored in greater religious and philosophical certainty to greater uncertainty in the present. In J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings series, his view of this issue was portrayed rather in a very complex way as Tolkien lived in decaying war period. In this series, his philosophy of history was that it's inevitable. History keeps repeating, but situations are worse than before. He believed that evil is real and a powerful force, not an idea or social construct. And it is personified into Sauron, Morgoth, and also that is its primordial, more of an impersonal force that exists from the beginning of the time. In conclusion, fantasy novels mainly discusses about the uncertainties of the modern world and the different perspective of the authors of this genre, which is fantasy, regarding issues such as religion, politics, and society.